Okay, number 17, starting out at number 17. Um, another name for an if-then statement is called a conditional. That's the first answer. Now, every conditional has two parts. The part following if, if is always the hypothesis. Following if is the hypothesis. Following then is the conclusion. Hopefully you knew that. Okay. So those are the three statements in, maybe I'll label them as A. Oops. A, that's A. B, that's B. And C, that's C. Okay. Write this statement as a conditional and if-then form. All triangles, so this is saying we know something to be true in all cases about triangles. All triangles have three sides. So you could write that as a conditional statement by saying, uh, let me type it, if, if a figure is a triangle, then it has three, oops, three sides. And just be careful because I've seen people make some mistakes on this. It's not necessarily saying that all figures with three sides are triangles. Um, and that might sound a little bit confusing, but it doesn't really matter. You're, you know, we're not looking at the converse. We're just saying if it says all these things are these things, then you know it must be true about those things because they're all that. And this next one, number 19, is a good example of it. They want us to draw a Venn diagram. And so let's do it. Let's see what figure we can get. Where are we? Okay, so let's make a circle. A Venn diagram. And a Venn diagram in this particular case is going to look like this. We're going to have a second circle completely inside of it. Okay. And what are we doing here? Well, what we're doing here is we're saying uh, cars, all cars are in the group motor vehicles. So um, I'm trying to type here, but it's not going. So we can write this in here. We could write cars. All cars are in the subset, are a subset of the motor vehicles category. Yep, so you can be a motor vehicle, but you don't have to be a car. That's the same thing as number 18. If a figure is a triangle, it, it, then it has three sides, or all triangles have three sides. This is the all part. All of these things are these wider group. All of these things are in this group of things that have three sides. Okay, But it doesn't necessarily mean that if you're in this group, you're in this circle, that you're in that circle as well. Hopefully that makes sense.